Miss Fifty Two Fifty, crazy for justice. I think I'm gonna start uh, charging Fresno Police Department for my time. This recording, this twenty minute recording, it's like two a.m. So you'll see that the videos that I've been posting, the last few videos, are from the Thursday Council meeting, and I was trying to get information about that day. About that day, council meeting, there were two incidents. I got one incident number, but I, I need the other one. And that's a valid you know, reason for a call. I didn't want to tie dispatch up. A supervisor was supposed to call me back because they couldn't find it. So there's a 46 minute and a 44 minute before this. Yeah, I must have made about 10 calls. So if anyone is going to call 621-7000, push one of the extensions. Three will take you to the Sheriff's Department, so you don't want to do that. But any of the other ones will give you a voicemail. And yeah, this will get you to the records, wherever you call for whatever abandoned vehicles. But I was exhausted by then. You can tell I'm tired. The first two are much... There's, there's a lot of good stuff, but they're just so long. So I'm probably just going to release clips. Unless you guys want to hear it all, let me know. Next available police dispatcher. For arrest warrant information, press 3. For we pressed 5 for abandoned vehicles and whatever. And no name is going to be on this one either. Thank you for calling the Fresno Police Department Records Bureau Service Desk. If you are calling with an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Otherwise, please have your information ready so that we may help you, such as case number, date, and time of the event. We will assist you in the order that the call is received. Please leave a callback number with the area code your name, a description of your needs, your case number, date, and time of the event. We will call you as soon as possible. Thank you for your patience. That was a very nice uh, voicemail. But my patience is, is non-existent. Okay. Yesterday was the council meeting. And... I received this incident number, 2308240269, from Officer Glenn Schaefer, S-C-H-A-F-E-R, badge number S135. Now, that officer was called by Officer Francisco Riza, badge number P1926, who works in the City Hall lobby, or was yesterday more afternoon, because there was an incident that was called in by American Guard Services to the back of City Hall, to right where you had parked your car, and you could see Gary Bredefield's car. Council parking. That's where the incident occurred. The first incident, and I need the incident number. Now, dispatch couldn't find it because I didn't give those cops that came my name. I certainly didn't give the security guards my name, but I was parked right by my vehicle that I pointed at, and that license number is 5H4. Five 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 eight. So I would like to get those records. I would also not like to know when and if the record I have of the crime of assault that was committed on me on eight fourteen in front of a city code enforcement worker. Uh, if the the neighbor who arrested, who assaulted me, is going to be arrested and charged, if that is assault, yes or no. If I was trespassing, yes or no, because I don't have no official trespass, nothing. 
the cops code enforcement said I was trespassing. I don't know. If he checked with you guys first to see if I had been trespassed from that property or not, but you know. <laughs> but he did contact the previous owner of the RV and was gonna and let him know all about it and gave him my address and shit. Talked to him on the phone. Wouldn't give him my phone number. You know, that I could block that if if that if the guy was bothering me. He he thought it'd be a better idea to give him my address. Where, you know, I can't very well move, can I? You people are fucking idiots. I, I just don't even understand the logic. Or just because I'm a an activist and you're trying to mess with me. That you're deliberately trying to make me crazy. By doing this crazy stuff. I can't I can't imagine it's legal. That it's illegal to give out my address and not my phone number for city code enforcement who works under the city attorney's office, right? Jeez. This is insane. It's truly insane. But you guys know me. Toy Unit knows me. You guys uh, helped Monty Evans win her court case against me. Then, you know, she only does private toes. I mean, Fresno PD doesn't do pri private toes. But yes, she won her court case because she did her paperwork so perfectly because she was so familiar, familiar with it. She doesn't even do her regular paperwork good. But you guys, you guys are stuck up for her. Huh. Because I'm pretty sure a cop was dating her, her daughter that committed suicide. I'm pretty sure. That that's all tied up with a cop. Yeah. Anyway. And to let you guys know, the reason is because uh, the the big boss, the big dog, top dog over that dispatch, he won't let any anyone transfer a phone call to him unless you give unless you give your name. You have to say your name out loud. It's not good enough to have the the uh, what's it? The name that pops up, whatever, on their $10 million real-time crime center. That information isn't good enough. They can't be anonymous. They have to say their Say my name. Ooh, say my name. Right? They can't be anonymous. They're not allowed. Pesky fucking citizen. Yeah, FOIA this, too. They know your FOIA laws, guys. Don't erase this recording. I'm FOIAing it. And everybody else that I called at 6217, whatever numbers I punched in and whatever names came up. But they were actual names. Courtney Espinoza, for one. Actual name. Somebody in the finance department. Actual name. Spilled my guts just like I'm doing now. Talking away. Told, told, told finance to you up, and now she has to call me back, Francine and finance, or I will, you know, make a complaint, because that's what Jordan Wamoff, you know, Jordan Wamoff says I was, I'm a professional complainer, that's my job, a professional complainer. <laughs> well, I haven't made a damn dime. <laughs> <coughs> So, you know, I guess I'm not very good at it, but, you know, a professional uh, complainer implies that you have actually been paid to, to, or maybe he means went, that I win a lawsuit, that I complained and won a lawsuit, which that's, you know, that, that would be in the future, uh, just over this yesterday, just yesterday, if it, if only... It was just yesterday. <laughs> but I will win a lot the lawsuit for yesterday. I will. The original one, I don't know, maybe not. But I will absolutely, definitely 100% win the lawsuit from yesterday. And 
this department will be named. And since I know that, um, and I know for a fact that the tow unit answers this or listens, God forbid, I said answered, bite my tongue because plenty of messages were left about my vehicle, 5H45558, and not, you know, nobody called back for six days. That's kind of strange. Wouldn't, maybe you guys would have thought it would be a stolen car at that point, right? There is proof out there in cyberspace that phone calls were made every day to Fresno PD and or that tow, tow unit and my num my license plate number was put in there and nobody knew and nobody could find it for six days. I want to make a complaint on that. That nobody could find my truck for six days. How do you explain that? How do you explain it not being in the in cleats and not being in auto return? No matter any way you slice it, no matter which angle you look at it, FPD fucked up. FPD fucked up big time. They totally ignored how many other call, um, cars d didn't make it into cleats. How many cars did it take you six days to find at your tow contractor? That doesn't make much sense to me. But, you know, the judge, j the judge didn't bat an eye. Monty Evans, she didn't call and say, how come it took that long? You guys at the tow unit didn't, didn't, wouldn't, you, re, you guys refused to call and ask her to give me my truck. That was something impossible that, that can't be done. That, that, that's crazy to talk. No, that's escalating. That's escalating the situation. That is uh, harassment and retaliation. Because Jerry, Jerry Dyer's a fucking criminal. And I don't like him. And I think he should, be, should have been fired. He should have been charged, criminally charged, many times. Over. Fired, of course. Mayor, I'm sure he caused maybe a suicide or two over that. I would not doubt it. Not for a fucking minute. Yeah, please uh, forward this to Jerry Dyer. Forward it to Paco. Forward it to Michael Bolin. Because that's the reason. That's the reason. Because I am determined. And if, if, if I was doing this for someone else, if it was a customer and I was getting paid and I was working, this is what I would be doing. For my customer. Way more. Way fucking more than the Fresno Police Department has ever done for me. Ever. In the 20 years that I've been here. And why, why these people would stick up for Jerry Dyer, I don't know. John Lane. You guys all know John Lane. I am not going to end up like John Lane. Because if I get suicided by the Fresno Police Department, there will not be just incoherent ramblings left. All, all clues will point to Fresno PD. All, everything will point to you guys. And the tow unit... Uh, there was a Richards, uh, what, Kimberly Richards, uh, this is off the top of my head, so, um, there was a, was there a Sanders, um, oh, some of the names, 
source is kind of strange. Uh, anyway, I do, I do. All I, they'll come to me when when I'm done, when I'm not when I'm not talking on this recording anymore. Uh, but I know that tax dollars are being spent because I know somebody is stuck listening to this all the way to the end because it's a public record and it's gonna it's getting FOIA CPRA. Did I already say that? I've said it so many times tonight. Because I want to make sure I get all of these. Everybody send me one. Send, give it to, give it to the city clerk, city hall, city clerk, so he can put them all together in one. For all the calls I made tonight. Let's see if I can see while I'm still on the phone. See if I know how to do that. I'm not all that technically savvy. And I do have cognitive impairment. I do have a disability, which I have told them, which, you know, it, it kind of means that I need to see stuff. I need to, you know, you tell it to me and, you know, it's just like anybody else. I'm going to remember what I remember, which is what is was important to me out of the conversation. But if they can, you know, just re briefly recap the important points and send it, the email to me. There is confirmation and I can read and verify and go back and look at it if I get confused. You see? So, you know, because I do get confused sometimes and, you know, so I go back and verify stuff. But I can't get no verification on what happened on August 14th. I can't even get nobody to read me the dispatch log. So I need somebody to send me the report. And records won't send it to me over the email. They will tell me, come down here, take a number, wait, ask for it, and then show your ID, and then we'll give it to you. And we might redact some of it first. But you have to come down here. I don't think so. I think when I call the police and I've been assaulted and I give, you know, and I'm talking to two cops, one of those two cops should send me that report. Even if it's a day or two later, send me that report. And so it's theirs until a detective has been assigned, right? So do I continue to bug that cop or do I, do I continue to call dispatch who transfers me to a supervisor, anonymous supervisor who doesn't call me back? I don't know, but it's all going on YouTube. 44 minute, 46 minute, and this one is only 17 minutes. So, this one, abandoned vehicle, um, voicemail at Fresno Police Department, who at least I know, Kimberly Richards, I think. You have exceeded the uh, recording to review this message, press 2. To send your message, press 7, 9. We're For gonna, help, we're press, press 7, 9 because I gave, I gave them my um, license number. So that means... They, to review this message, press means, 2. To send your message, you press 7, 9. That was a very nice voice. Uh, message sent. All right, message, message sent, people. So everybody heard. That message got sent to the Fresno Police Department auto, you know, tow, the tow thing. So maybe we will get some satisfaction as to why. Maybe you guys will start calling. 
Call 621-7000 and hit extension 5. Hit an extension and leave a voice me message there and tell them Miss 5250 sent you. And we're fed up. We the people are fed up with this um, low rate budget basement service that we're getting from our uh, five star paid highest paid police officers in the valley service. You people suck. So please call me back and let me know what you did with this email. Did you give it to voicemail? Did you give it to Todd? Did you forward it to Paco? We the people want to know. All right, thanks for everyone that is still hanging in there. Be well and be free, always from the police.